Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. You may recall that the other day I posted a picture on Twitter of some very ugly tomatoes from Walmart uh, and the caption said, never again will we buy uh, produce from Walmart. Never again will we buy produce from a big uh, retail store. A grocery store would have been a better choice, but we've decided to skip the middleman and go to the farmer's market. Um, more than likely we're going to pay less and the food is definitely going to be better than Walmart, so we've decided to do that. And uh, my dad's going to go with me partially because I don't have a vehicle because Mao uses it to get to school. And uh, I'm going to be able to get some, some stuff for me and Mao. He's going to be able to get some stuff for him and mom. And uh, before we head over there, we're actually going to go over to Five Guys because I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, me and Mao can't really go there anymore. Anytime we've ever went, Mao's gotten really sick. And I'm assuming that it's because she's allergic to peanuts and the place has peanuts all over the, all over the restaurant. So maybe that's a correlation, probably. So I'm excited to have five guys for the first time in a very long time. That is an absolutely beautiful hamburger. And it has been far too long. Yours looks good too. I didn't think to get onions on mine. I should have got onions on mine. I'm excited. Are you excited? You already tasted yours. You like it? Because you even, I don't think, it's been uh, just as long for me as it has for you for five guys. There she blows, the farmer's market. Mal's been here before, but we've never actually been here. So this is our first time. I think we just can walk over here. That'd be fine. That was pretty nice. Um, it's pretty small. There wasn't a whole lot to show. In fact, the last clip that showed it was about the whole thing. Um, Mal had given me a list of things to get, which <laughs> simply was shrimp and goat cheese. Mal had been over here before, and she knew that there was a lady here selling goat cheese. And uh, we got some goat cheese. Goat cheese. That's five ounces of goat cheese from Worley Lane Farms. They've been cherishing the land since 1880. It's a long time to be cherishing the land. Uh, I didn't get the shrimp. The guy only had jumbo shrimp, and um, not, I'm not opposed to jumbo shrimp, but I was like, eh, maybe Mal didn't know, or maybe Mal didn't know how much it, how much it was. So I was like, I'll just wait, because we're not gonna be eating shrimp in like the next few days. They have this farmer's market every Wednesday and Friday, and um, the pro we, neither of us got produce. You got some tomatoes. He got some tomatoes. We didn't need any tomatoes, but his tomatoes look really good. And uh, everything's really reasonable. And in some cases, I'd say cheaper than getting them at the store. So I'm sure we'll come back over here. Anytime we need more produce, we'll be over here instead of heading to Walmart. So this might become like a ritual thing. Like every Friday, we'll hit up the farmer's market. So hope Matt likes your goat cheese. Uh, I'm usually not a big goat it's cheese soft. guy. I know. I'm just. It's strong. I know. Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I had a sample last week. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you know that it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, that's fresh, man. That that came right out of the goat's teeth, like probably yesterday or something so that's as fresh as you're gonna get but goat cheese <laughs> not my forte Mal likes it oh as a side note I'm doing spaghetti and that probably doesn't seem like a big deal but it's actually a pretty big deal we haven't had spaghetti in a long time we don't make spaghetti very often look at our pretty noodles they're pretty that's uh, rotini mm -hmm. they're yeah. carrot and spinach. garden garden rotini uh, that stuff's good uh, and it's real cheap you can get it at Walmart um, we we used to make a lot of pasta, and we kind of got out of the habit. And it's kind of nice every once in a while to make pasta because it's so hearty and it's a very, very inexpensive meal. As a side note, our Zelda Twilight Princess giveaway is coming to an end tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to uh, announce the results, but since you guys get this vlog the next day, the results are actually out, so go watch the results. And I'm going to let you guys know one other thing. Um, in addition to this contest ending, there's going to be a secondary contest, like a second contest, and all you have to do is keep Stephen Place in your channel box and comment on this results video. You will be entered to win a coupon code for a free t-shirt from the Stephen Shop. Shop. <laughs> and we're going to give those away. Uh, there's going to be two of them. We're going to give away two shirts, and we're going to be doing that at the end of Twilight Princess. So once Twilight Princess is finally over, we will give out uh, those two codes. We're gonna give out uh, two shirts, which is pretty sweet. In addition to that, gets better, right? There are three new shirt designs in the store, and they are all related to Zelda Twilight Princess. 
And uh, if you haven't seen the results video, go over and watch that because I know that's out yet and that's going to show the designs. But check that out. Um, you can you could get a shirt now if you want because those designs are available. Like at the end of the video, when the end slate comes up, click the little shirt icon and you can get the shirts if you want them. But we are holding a contest to win a free shirt, your choice, whatever you want. You can have it Zelda related or not um, at the end of Twilight Princess. So pretty exciting stuff. Um, the other news is that there is a Q&A video that we haven't done yet, but should come out with this video in addition to the mail. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if a mail is going to come out with it or not. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot to do. But Q&A should be available or soon. It'll be the next video if it's not already out. Can you tell there's a lot going on? There's a lot going on. Um, also, just continue to giving you awesome stuff. Um, we are going to visit Dan. We'll be there in two weeks. When we are there, we are going to do a live stream. It's going to happen. I don't know what day it's going to happen, but it's probably going to happen... If I had to guess, it's going to be Friday evening. What, I don't know what day is that. J June 14th, I think. I think it's going to be June 14th evening. So get ready for that. There will be more information as it gets closer. Um, we're going to have a webcam and mics or whatever, and me, Mal, and Dan are all going to do a live stream together uh, for you guys. Um, and it should happen here on YouTube because Steven Vlog just got approved for streaming. So we can do live streams now on the channel. So... That's going to be a thing. Whew. Lots to lot to say. Anyway, going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs> what about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you.